my goodness, take a look at that. An intense water rescue caught on camera over the weekend. Now only on six, a good Samaritan who jumped in to help. Well, they're speaking out. NBC6's Lena Saltzbank has a story behind that video and that man who jumped in to help out. Lena, what did he have to say? Well, he tells us he wasn't the only one that went into the water. Two other Good Samaritans followed behind him and jumped in the water to help save that kid. He said that parental instincts just kicked in and there was nothing else that he could do. Seth Stern says jumping in the water was his only option. He was arms up in the air, flailing, yelling for help. On Sunday, Seth was at the Boca Raton Inlet with his camera filming boats for work when he heard a cry for help in the water. I yelled for him to swim sideways to us on the rock so we could just grab him. And his response was, I can't, I don't have the energy. After waving down a lifeguard, Seth took matters into his own hands. And video shows him climbing over rocks before jumping in to help the teen who was struggling to keep his head above the waves. There's a really strong rip current underneath the water that he was stuck in by being close to to the rocks, and that's why he was struggling so hard. Two other men followed, and the three of them dragged the teen back to safety. I'm not sure how it would have played out if we were not here. Seth says that he has no formal lifeguard training, but he has two young children, and the instinct to help just kicked in. I did what any parent would do. I jumped in. The lifeguards at the Boca Raton Inlet also swam out to assist. Today, Seth says he is feeling grateful. The cuts and scrapes all over my body, but if that's the price to pay to save a life, I would do it again without second guessing. So like you heard just a few scratches and a few scrapes here and there, but otherwise everybody that was involved is okay. Meanwhile, he also tells us that he would love to meet the person that he helped bring out of the water. For now, reporting in Bogoraton, Lena Salzbank, NBC6 News.